Today, 38 seats of the total of 60 in Manipur's assembly voted amidst an economic blockade by a Naga group and unprecedented security in the area. But the voters were spirited with a record turnout. Manipur will now perhaps look forward to a clear mandate driven by an overwhelming turnout of women, young and first-time voters. And not to forget Irum Sharmila, who voted after 20 long years. Manipur's human rights crusader turned politician Irum Sharmila casting her vote at Kurai in Imphal after a gap of 20 long years. If you thought this was the best moment for round one of the battle for Manipur, then you are in for a surprise. The old proverb, morning shows the day, proved correct. Women voters started queuing up in front of polling booths at dawn. Similar scenes in almost all the 1,643 polling booths of the 38 seats which went to polls today. Phase 1 is seen as decisive, as Imphal Valley has voted. They have always been kingmakers. Perhaps the women, youth and first-time voters would script Manipur's verdict. I'm very glad this is my first time to get a cast of work. No, no, I want the new government to be a good transparency government. This excitement of young voters was seen across the Imphal Valley. Person week, a lot of good personality and uh, a person who can do his work sincerely. For the first time, I'm going to exercise my own, uh, I mean, my own right. And not only that, I'm going to be involved in making the form of uh, government. For once, even in the hill areas of Churachandpur and newly created Kangpokpi districts, youngsters voted without fear. It started on time and everything was going smoothly. So it was, and every voters were given their chances and um, everything was free and fair. The round one of battle for Manipur saw huge turnout of people, mostly women and youngsters. This just goes to show that for a troubled state like Manipur, democracy still wins a battle against all troubles that they have faced over the years. Any more of the TV.